Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today I'll be reviewing seven myths about antisocial personality disorder. If you find this video to be interesting or helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss any new videos. So let's get right to it with myth number one about antisocial personality disorder. So myth number one is that all individuals with antisocial personality disorder are violent. And I think one of the reasons that this myth is popular is because the way that individuals with antisocial personality disorder are portrayed in movies and on television. There is an increased risk of violence associated with antisocial personality disorder, and of course an increased risk of crime, including violent crime. But most of the times when we look at what happens in terms of behaviorally with antisocial personality disorder, in terms of a criminal act, it would be some sort of crime involving manipulation like fraud or theft. Sometimes, of course, there is violence involved, but it's really only a moderate risk when you compare it to how it's portrayed in the media. Myth number two is that antisocial personality disorder is positively correlated with intelligence, meaning in general, individuals with antisocial personality disorder would tend to be more intelligent than those who do not have antisocial personality disorder. Now, in order to understand the answer to this myth, it's important to understand that antisocial personality disorder has a number of dimensions. When we consider the disorder as a whole, there is no positive association between antisocial personality disorder and intelligence. When we look at just the relational components, the interpersonal components of antisocial personality disorder, there we do see a small positive correlation with intelligence. And when we look at the behavioral and affective components of the disorder, we see that those are negatively correlated with intelligence. Myth number three is that antisocial personality disorder is related to psychosis, meaning that many individuals with this disorder also have psychotic episodes. I think one of the reasons that this myth is perpetuated is because of the word psychopathy. It sounds a lot like psychosis, but those are two totally different things. Some individuals with antisocial personality disorder may have psychosis, but it's not related to the personality disorder. They might have a separate disorder, like schizophrenia or some other disorder that has psychotic features, like major depressive disorder. But psychosis is not part of the presentation we see with antisocial personality disorder. It's not one of the symptoms of that disorder. Myth number four is that individuals with antisocial personality disorder were born that way meaning the cause of antisocial personality disorder is genetic. This isn't true. We know that about 30 to 50 percent of the variance in the symptoms of antisocial personality disorder can be explained by genetics. That would be heritability, but the remainder would be caused by the environment. At least that's what we believe, and we refer to that as environmentability. Myth number five is that individuals with antisocial personality disorder don't know the difference between right and wrong. Now, they may not in certain situations, but again, this has nothing to do with antisocial personality disorder, just like the myth about the relationship between the disorder and psychosis. What we found with antisocial personality disorder is that individuals with the disorder do know the difference between right and wrong, but they choose not to act on it. Myth number six is that individuals with antisocial personality disorder are free from all emotional expression, so they're emotionless. They can't experience emotions, and they can't express emotions. This isn't true. Actually, individuals with antisocial personality disorder have a wide range of both positive and negative emotions, including anger and anxiety. Myth number seven is that antisocial personality disorder is the same thing as psychopathy. So this is where it gets a little bit into the research in terms of how we study these certain traits that we see with antisocial personality disorder like a disregard for society's norms, lack of remorse, irresponsibility, all these other characteristics we see of this disorder. Sometimes when this is studied, the area being studied is psychopathy, which is thought of as a series of personality traits as opposed to antisocial personality disorder, which is primarily defined by behaviors. Another related myth to this myth is that antisocial personality disorder is the same thing as sociopathy. But again, sociopathy is a different construct. 
Specifically, the difference with sociopathy is we think of it as more related to the environment in terms of the etiology, in terms of the cause. So usually if we think about psychopathy versus sociopathy, we're thinking psychopathy has a stronger genetic component, sociopathy has more of an environmental component, an individual with psychopathy tends to be emotionally stable, and an individual with sociopathy is usually conceptualized as having unstable emotions. I hope you found this description of seven myths about antisocial personality disorder to be interesting. Thanks for watching.